Good morning and welcome to Purity Class for April 2020. The topic is lying and dishonesty. The lesson says Exodus chapter 20 verse 16 and that reads, Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Lesson 1. The lesson objective Puritan would learn that lying and dishonesty have consequences. When the Israelites left Egypt, since they were not familiar with God's way, he gave them commandments. These were laws they were expected to live by. Among the commandments, they were commanded not to bear false witness against a neighbor. Being honest is expected to be availed. Lifestyle. God is holy and we are expected to be holy. Being truthful is part of being holy. Today's society no longer values truth as it once did. Christian values are no longer followed by society. A mother's story. My 17-year-old son lies all the time, a mother said. He lies about his schoolwork, what he ate for lunch, and whether or not he's brushed his teeth. He also exaggerates to make his stories more dramatic or to make himself sound bigger. It's come to the point where I don't take anything he says at face value. I just don't understand why he lies so often, especially when telling the truth would be easier. Some teens develop the habit of telling half-truths or exaggerating about things that seem completely irrelevant or unnecessary. There is no trust without truth. The teenager needs to know the cost of lying and the risks that go with dishonesty and how the liar ends up mistreating themselves most of all. Lesson two is called Think About It. We're going to look at John chapter 8. John chapter 8 verses 41 through 47. Ye do the deeds of your father. Then say they to him, We be not born of fornication. We have one father, even God. Jesus said unto them, If God were your father, you would love me, for I proceeded forth and came from God. Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Why do ye not understand my speech, even because ye cannot hear my word? Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. Which of you convinces me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do you not believe me? He that is of God heareth God's words. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. And the verse to emphasize here is the 40. Fourth verse, it says, Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. So you have to have, um, don't have the lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Love not the world, nor the things in the world. The world passes away. Let's look at Isaiah chapter 65. Verses 14 through 16. Behold my servant. Behold my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit, and ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. For the Lord God shall slay thee and call his servants by another name, that he who blesseth himself in the earth shall bless himself 
and the God of truth. And he that sweareth in the earth shall swear by the God of truth, because the former troubles are forgotten, and because they are hid from mine eyes. So the 16th verse, that he who blesseth himself in the earth shall bless himself in the God of truth, and he that sweareth in the earth shall swear by the God of truth, because the former troubles are forgotten, and because they are hid from mine eyes. Now go to Revelation chapter 19. And that reads Revelation 19 verses 10 through 16. And I tell, and I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus. Worship God for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. And I saw heaven open and behold a white horse and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. His eyes were as a flame of fire and on his head were many crowns and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings. So the fifteenth verses, the fifteenth verse is the one to look at. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with the rod of iron. And he treadeth the rock, the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. Now turn to Leviticus chapter 19. Leviticus chapter 19 verses 10 through 16. And thou shalt not glean thy, vi thy vineyard, neither shalt thou gather every grape of thy vineyard. Thou shalt leave them for the poor and stranger. I am the Lord your God. Ye shall not steal, neither deal falsely, neither lie one to another. And ye shall not swear by my name falsely, neither shalt thou profane the name of thy God, I am the Lord. Thou shalt not defraud thy neighbor, neither rob him, the wages of him that is hired shall not abide with thee all night until the morning. Thou shalt not curse the deaf, nor put a stumbling block before the blind, but shall fear thy God, I am the Lord. Ye shall do no unrighteousness in judgment. Thou shalt not respect the person of the poor, nor honor the person of the mighty, but in righteousness shalt thou judge thy neighbor. Thou shalt not go up and down as a talebearer among thy people, neither shalt thou stand against the blood of thy, of thy neighbor, I am the Lord. And the scripture to look at is the 11th verse. It says, Ye shall not steal, neither deal falsely, neither lie one to another. Now there are four questions here. Where does lying come from? What are some of the names Jesus is, Jesus is called in heaven? I'm going to repeat that again. What are some of the names Jesus is called in heaven? What was the rationale for some of the lies you have told? Were there consequences for your actions? Ponder those questions in your heart, answer them in your notebooks, and God bless you for joining us today.